Hi. 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 Good to see you. Yeah, you too. How are you? I'm good. It's a bit warm, but I'm good. <laughs> it's warm for Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Swedish winter athlete, so this is very warm for me. <laughs> We're in Rupolding. You've been here a couple times, I would yeah. say. But first time a Summer Violin World Championships. Yeah. yeah, so it's exciting. What's the feeling like before a competition you've never done before? Uh, it's, it's exciting, uh, but we had the Swedish champs uh, on roller skiing last weekend. So I feel a bit prepared, but the track here is very different. So it will be a challenge. And you've done pretty well. Yeah, I, it, I had an amazing weekend. It was it was a bit crazy. I had problems with my shooting beforehand, but uh, I cleared every stage, so it was it was incredible. I have a question because this is lane number one. You've used it a couple of times last winter. Yeah. What's the feeling like when you get here, get ready to shoot? Uh, it's uh, it's it's a bit of a dream come true. I mean, this is what you're working for, getting to uh, compete and race on lane number one. So it's, and here in Rupolding is usually a big, usually a big audience and hopefully this weekend it will be and coming in in the, in the lead and shooting on lane number one. It's, it's really a special feeling that you just have to not think about when you're doing it uh, and just think about what you're supposed to do with the shooting. So it's, it's a big challenge, but uh, I'm getting used to it. Uh -huh. I, I could see that. <laughs> so today the idea is to just walk through the range together and answer a few questions. Yeah. We already started. Um, then, last year, you know, we said it, lane yeah. number one, lane number two, a lot of good results. But yeah. let's go back to 12 months ago. Yeah. If someone stopped you and said, ah, in 12 months you will have three Olympic medals, four World Cup wins, would you have believed that? I would have uh, difficulty believing it, yes, but I knew that I had done a really good job in the summer and I had taken big steps. So I knew that like taking my first victory could be possible, but that it would go that well and ending up second in the total score, that's, I, that would be a bit hard to believe. <laughs> Indeed, second in the total score was a, such a good fight with Marte. What did you learn from that fight? I learned a lot. It's, uh, I mean, it was a totally new experience for me. I finished 12th the last the year before and the 24th. Which the was year. really good, though. Yeah, <laughs> it, both both those years were super good, also. Uh, but I learned a lot that with this pressure or like getting used to being at that level, that it's not something strange or surprising being on a podium, and that was like getting used to that feeling that it's normal being on a podium that was a bit quite crazy but a good feeling to get used to and to come in and shoot for the podium positions in most races it's in the beginning of the season i was quite nervous every time but in the end i was a, a lot more relaxed and uh, it's really a journey i did along the season so I, it's good experiences that i now have moving into the next season we spoke about the Olympics before the Olympics, now after the Olympics. What do you remember? What's the thing that if you think Olympics, okay, this? Uh, actually, I have to say the sprint, uh, because that was probably the race that I was looking forward to most on the entire season. And being able to shoot clean and I had the difficulties with the altitude and still do a really good race uh, skiing wise also. To be able to do that on the competition that when it mattered the most, that means just so much to me as an athlete because that's my goal, to do my best. And when I managed to do that when it mattered the most, that's, that's just incredible. Uh, and then of course the women's relay, that's, that's huge. Uh, going the final leg and being able to handle that situation, it was, yeah, it's a lot of crazy memories. You know, before we said it would be a dream to be on the podium with your sister and you were on the top of the podium. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's really crazy uh, when you think about it. And the fact that we now are two Olympic champions in the family, that's, <laughs> that's quite crazy. <laughs> and not everybody can say that. No. <laughs> now, a couple of things about you. So, out of biathlon, what would you like to do? Or what uh, do you do in your free time uh, if you have any? Yeah, I, I don't have much. Uh, <laughs> But I'm really a nature person. I enjoy being out in the nature, in the forest uh, and up on the mountains, in the Swedish mountains. 
Uh, I really enjoy it. I do some hunting also, uh, but I don't have much time for that, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, but when I don't have as much time, I like to be home and, and I enjoy baking and cooking and uh, just relaxing because usually you don't have much energy left after the training. I knew about the baking yeah. and that would be my next question. What's the best thing you ever baked? Oh, the best or your thing. favorite? One of my favorite things, it's actually really simple. It's a Swedish thing called uh, kladdkaka. It's like a gooey chocolate cake. Uh, it's super simple, but it's also so, so delicious. And it takes like 20 minutes to get done. And it's the best thing to, uh, when you're having a dinner and it's the best dessert for a nice, simple dinner. I want the recipe. Yeah, of course. Because <laughs> I love baking myself, yeah. so I will ask for this and uh, maybe this winter you give me some tips and secrets. Of course. And um, I asked this to your sister, so I will compare. Yeah. <laughs> what superpower you would like to have? Oh, that's really difficult. Uh, it would be convenient given what I'm doing to like be really, really strong or something. But that feels like a bit of cheating. <laughs> Uh, but I don't know, uh, maybe like teleporting or something, that would be cool. That would save a lot of time yeah. on the traveling yeah. as well. <laughs> no 12 hour travels. Oh. <laughs> and um, uh, you said about the sprint, but you had so many good results in basically every format. Yeah. So what, which one is your favorite? I mean, I really, really like to sprint. It, I think it, that's the race that suits me the best. It's a lot of skiing and not as much shooting, but uh, I mean, the relays are so much fun. We have such a good team and uh, you really get this team spirit feeling that you don't usually get as an individual athlete. So it's really, really fun. And But surprisingly this year I did so good in the mass starts also, which is a discipline that I've been struggling with. So I, I think the sprint is the funniest, but it's difficult to choose. <laughs> And we have a super sprint this week. Yeah. What do you feel like? Uh, I've only done a super sprint once, a lot of years ago in an IBU Cup, and I didn't qualify. So uh, it will be something new. I think it will be a really tough competition because the track is quite flat. Mm -hmm. So you have to work everywhere. There's no rest. And uh, probably you won't be able to do that much time in the tracks uh, as you can maybe do in a tough track in the winter so it will be a lot depending on the shooting and how fast you shoot also but uh, yeah it will probably be a really really fun competition. Speaking of tracks which one is your favorite on the World Cup venue? Oh, I, I think I have to say Östersund actually. Uh, it's not just that it's at home but uh, the profile suits me very well with uh, a lot of ups and downs and curves and you have to work with the track and you really have the opportunity to work with the track. It's not just you ski up and then you ski down or it's flat. You, you have all these curves and turns and you can really work with it a lot. And uh, I think that's why I really like it. And which one is the toughest? Uh, it's, uh, Oberhof is one of the toughest because it's usually really tough conditions also. Uh, but and that hop looks super long. Yeah, it's really long. <laughs> but uh, also, I think Antols for me because I usually struggle a bit with the altitude, and since it's also quite quite flat, you don't get much rest. And then when you're up on the altitude, the recovery is quite challenging. So I think that's my biggest challenge. Every day you have to earn <laughs> yeah. the next one in altitude. Yeah, yeah. and. Prone or standing shooting? Standing. Easy. Easy. <laughs> Why? I, I don't know. It's just uh, I feel like I'm more in control in standing. Uh, it's not as much depending on how I go down on the mat or how I do exactly the firing. or It's more just hit or miss for me. Uh, so I feel more in charge, I'd say. And um, we obviously said about last year, and uh, is there anything you learned about yourself during the whole of the year? Because I guess there were, as you said, yeah. so many new experiences, so many things. 
You probably I think, had to learn. Yeah, I think I learned that one of my biggest strengths is that I'm quite confident in myself. And I, when I believe in myself and my own capacity, that's when I perform the best. So to just stay cool and believe in myself, that's the best thing that I can do. But it's, it's also very easy to say. <laughs> but I think that's one of the biggest things that I learned about myself, that... I think that's my biggest strength as both a person and an athlete. So what's the goal for the next season? Uh, of course, I was second in the total score and uh, I want... I had a lot of seconds in my result row and of course I want some more ones. But I don't feel any stress that, I, that it has to happen this season. I mean, I'm 23 Too years young. old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel no stress, but... Of course, we will be looking for, to, the, to race all competitions and give it a go for the total. Uh, but we have a world championships also, and I don't have any medals at a senior world champs yet. So, I mean, it will be a bit both focused on the World Cup and on the world champs, but uh, we'll see a bit how it goes uh, also. Well, first, you have the Summer Biathlon World yeah. Championships. and. We just passed the finish line, yeah. so I guess our time together is over for today. But I thank you so much and best of luck for the weekend. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.